Hello everyone! Welcome or welcome back here on my channel. This is me once again, Teacher Jinjin, your virtual teacher here on YouTube. Kung bago ka pa lang sa channel na ito, gumagawa ako ng mga Tagalog tutorial videos mula grade 7 hanggang grade 11. Kung interesado ka, please like, subscribe at i-click mo na rin ang notification bell para ma-notify ka kapag may bago akong upload na video. Ngayon naman, ang i-discuss ko sa inyo ay Operations on Functions para sa mga Grade 11 General Mathematics. Meron akong video lesson about Operations on Functions. I-click nyo na lang dito sa taas or hanapin nyo na lang sa playlist natin para maintindihan ninyo kung ano nga ba yung mga formula na dapat nating gamitin. So, ang direction dyan sa module ninyo, match column A with column B by writing the letter of the correct answer on the blank before each number. Pero ang gagawin ko lang is tuturuan ko lang kayo kung paano siya isolve. Okay. So, meron tayong mga functions dito. a of x equals x plus 2, b of x equals 5x minus 3, c of x equals x plus 5 over x minus 7, d of x equals square root of x plus 5, and e of x equals 3 over x minus 7. Gagawin lang natin plus and then multiply and then composition of function, then division, then merong subtraction. Okay, so ansira natin itong number 1, quantity of a plus b of x. So basically, ang a plus b of x is just the addition of a of x and b of x. Pwede nyo namang isulat a of x plus b of x. By substitution, that is x plus 2 plus Ang b of x natin is 5x minus 3. So, ganun lang siya. And then, combine like terms. Ano ba yung mga magkakamukha? That is x plus 5x equals positive 6x. And then, 2 minus 3 is equal to negative 1. Okay? So, kapag negative ito, kailangan nyo pang isimplify. Kasi kapag dineretso ninyo, mag-iiba yung sign. Pero, positive naman to kaya, hindi maapektuhan yung final answer. Number 2, we have the quantity of a times b of x. So, basically, imumultiply lang natin yung a of x at saka yung b of x. And that is x plus 2, yung b of x natin is 5x minus 3. Using the FOIL method, maalala nyo pa ba? Yung FOIL method stands for First, outer, inner, last. x times 5x is equal to 5x squared. And then, outer naman, x times negative 3 equals negative 3x. Next, yung inner, yung mga nasa loob, 2 times 5x equals positive 10x. Then, last term, 2 times negative 3 equals negative 6. Then, i-combine natin yung negative 3x and positive 10x and that would be equal to positive 7x. Pwede pa ba natin itong simplify? Hindi na. So, this is now the final answer. Next, number 3, we have the quantity of D composed of A of X. Ibang operation naman kapag composition of function. So, ba yung D of X natin is square root of X plus 5. Yung D of A natin is X plus 2. Ngayon, yung g of a natin, isa-substitute natin siya dito sa g of x. So, d of x plus 2 equals the square root of x plus 5. Again, yung x plus 2, yun yung d of a. d composed of a x equal to square root of x plus 5. Yung composition of function, parang dalawang beses kang magsasolve. I-substitute natin yung x plus 2 dito sa x. So, that is square root of x plus 2 plus 5. And then, combine like terms, 2 plus 5 is equal to positive 7. So, the final answer is the square root of x plus 7. Since hindi na natin ito pwedeng simplify, ito na yung kanyang final answer. Okay? Next, number 4, the quantity of E divided by C of x. Basically, i-divide lang natin yung E of x sa C of x. So, ano yung e of x natin? That is 3 over x minus 7. 
ang C of X naman natin is X plus 5 over X minus 7. Okay. So, di ba meron tayong rational expression dito? Ngayon, ano ang gagawin natin? Kagaya lang din siya ng pag-divide ng fraction. Copy the numerator and then multiply, get the reciprocal of the denominator. Ano yung reciprocal nito? Babalik ta rin lang natin yung denominator magiging numerator kaya x minus 7 tapos yung numerator naman magiging denominator. Tapos magiging multiplication na ang kanyang operation. So, di ba ito yung basic rule ng division of fraction. Pag nag-multiply tayo ng fraction, numerator to numerator, denominator to denominator. Pero pwede nating i-cancel dito yung x minus 7 magiging 1 na lang siya. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, 3 times 1 equals 3. And then, 1 times x plus 5 equals x plus 5. So, the final answer is 3 over x plus 5. Number 5, the quantity of c minus e of x. Ano ang c of x natin? That is, x plus 5 over x minus 7 minus ang e of x natin is 3 over x minus 7. Since pareho sila ng denominator, just add the numerator, then copy the denominator. So, x plus 5 minus 3, and that is equal to x plus 2, kasi 5 minus 3 equals positive 2. And then, copy the denominator, that is x minus 7. Ang final answer natin ay x plus 2 over x minus 7. Okay? Number 6, we have the quantity of A plus B of negative 1. Dito naman, may value na yung ating function. So, ang gagawin natin dito, i-evaluate natin using the answer na nakuha natin from 1 to 5. So, ba yung number 6, katulad lang din siya ng number 1 pero napalitan ng negative 1 yung x. So, ano yung answer natin ulit sa number 1 kanina? That is 6x minus 1. So, ang gagawin naman natin dito, i-substitute lang natin yung negative 1 dito sa x. And that is 6 times negative 1 minus 1. 6 times negative 1 equals negative 6 minus 1. Pareho sila ng sign. Ibig sabihin, add then copy the sign. 6 plus 1 equals 7, then copy negative sign. And that is equal to negative 7. Ito na yung ating final answer. Number 7, we have the quantity of A times B of 0. Ano yung answer natin kanina sa number 2? That is 5x squared plus 7x minus 6. Palitan natin ng 0 yung x. So, 5 times 0 is squared plus 7 times 0 minus 6. Okay, so 0 yan, ibig sabihin 0 na yung magiging product niya. Okay, so ang matitira na lang is negative 6. That is now the final answer. Number 8, we have the quantity of G of A of positive 2. So ano yung sagot natin kanina sa number 3? That is square root of x plus 7. Substitute positive 2 sa x and that is equal to 2 plus 7. Simplify the operation, 2 plus 7 equals positive 9. And then, kung mapapansin ninyo, perfect square yung 9. So, what is the square root of 9? That is equal to positive negative 3. Number 9, we have quantity of E over C of negative 2. So, evaluate negative 2. Ano yung sagot natin sa number 4 kanina? That is 3 over x plus 5. Substitute negative 2 sa x and that is 3 over negative 2 plus 5. Negative 2 plus 5 equals positive 3. Then, simplify. Reduce to lowest term, 3 divided by 3 equals 1. So, the final answer is positive 1. Ang dami nyo ng bonus ha. Please mag-like kayo at mag-comment na rin kayo. Tulong nyo na rin sa akin yun. Okay? Number 10, we have the quantity of C minus E of 2. Ano yung sagot natin sa number 5 kanina? X plus 2 over X minus 7. So, palitan natin ng positive 2 yung X. 
and that is 2 plus 2 over 2 minus 7. 2 plus 2 equals 4, 2 minus 7 equals negative 5. The final answer is negative 4 over 5. Okay? So, kayo nang bahala kung nasaan yung mga sagot nito. Kung nakatulong ito sa inyo, please like and comment down below. Pag-share na rin sa mga classmates ninyo para matulungan din natin sila. Okay? Abangan ninyo yung susunod na video sa inyong activity number 2. Once again, stay home, stay safe, stay healthy, at mag-aral ng mabuti. God bless you all and goodbye!